Hey everyone and welcome back to Life at Leeds with me, GWFM. Today we've got games against uh, Malaga and as a result of a, a fixture change, West Brom. Uh, it was supposed to be Arsenal but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Um, so let's just get, go ahead and, uh, and see how we've been doing in uh, recent results. So last time he joined us we played Anderlecht and obviously we destroyed him 3-0. You saw that on the live com if you joined us before. But then after that we had a game against Reading uh, away at the Bidersky Stadium. Yep, the Bidersky Stadium. And we... It took a, a late surge to get a win out of this because up until the last eight minutes we were drawing one all. And it was pretty ner a, a bit nervy because things are going quite well at the top of the league, um, it has to be said. And... Yeah, it was a little bit nervy, but we came out in the end thanks to a couple of changes, so I was very pleased with that. We then followed up with a draw against Liverpool. I'm trying to remember what the goals were like. Oh no, I remember now. Um, we had an own goal and um, Matty Downing got sent off. Uh, Angelina was suspended or whatever it was. Um, and yeah, the, the Liverpool went 2-1 two, two up with 10 minutes to go. And I'm think, fearing the worst. But even with 10 men... Uh, Dele Feu manages to pop up with a goal out of nothing, really, and uh, you know, give us a much needed point. It all be at home. It was a little bit disappointing, but going down to ten men, can't really expect anything else. Um, then we played the first leg against the team that we we got drew, uh, drawn against in the uh, well, the second knockout round, and it was Malaga. Um, now Malaga have got a couple of decent players. One in, in particular stands out this on this, this year's FM, and that is Kuki. He's not there anymore, so. It was going to be a little bit easier, but they've still got Ignacio Camacho, uh, which we'll go show him later on. Um, he's a player that I used to sign um, when he was younger, when he was about 21. You could sign him in the Championship for Leeds, and uh, he was a very good player, let's just say that. But we won 2 0 anyway in the home game. Um, we've got him again today, of course, and Delafield getting two goals, um, which was very pleasing indeed. And then the last one, this is a bit of a strange one from my point of view, because. Unless well, this has been a rule change or something, I wasn't aware that FA Cup ties, apart from the semi-final and the final, went to extra time after one game. I thought it would be a replay. Now, I've not seen anything. I mean, the fortunate thing is we won on penalties. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of a topsy-turvy sort of game. And we relied on our own goal from David Luiz, which does fe feature uh, a goal, <laughs> a fail of the... the the world, end of the world, I think, because it was that bad. I will show you it. And let's be honest, I'm not going to complain here because Larson got the ball, swung it in. I mean, Courtois, again, one of the best <laughs> goalkeepers in the world. David Louise, one of the best defenders in the world. How many concedes a goal like that? I mean, it's just dog, dog turd, really. As you can see there, just a brief look. We slightly edged the game. It was a, probably an even result, really, but we're very lucky. Uh, especially after we missed his first penalty as well. Um, so yeah, the other goal I do want to show you actually is <laughs> this goal here, Isaac's goal in the 90th minute. It was an absolute corker. Uh, check this, check this shit out. Yeah, so I get ready in it. We, we were three one up at this point, but Isaac picks up the ball here, just goes on a, a monstrous run and smashes it in off the bar. Tony Yeboa esque. Yeah, fantastic. Right, so there's not been really any other news. Uh, the only thing really to do is have a look at today's opponents, which I do apologise if I forgot to look at Anderlecht last time. And, um, I think they still had Yuri Tillemans, I think, I can't remember. But yeah, Ignacio Camacho is the captain and key man. And he, as you can see there, he's just very... His all-round game is really good. You know, balance is, is a bit of a weakness and he's is, is the quickest. But otherwise, I think he's a very, very good player. Um, Alin Toshka, I want to say is how you pronounce it. It's Romanian, so it could be anything. Um, yeah. Decent player without being spectacular, nothing over a 15, mostly 14s and 13s, so not too uh, you know, put off by him. And the, man the manager, you might already know him, uh, well you probably will do, especially if you're a Spurs fan, Juan de Ramos, he was the guy who uh, gave Tottenham like the worst start, I think it was the worst start ever in the Premier League. Um, yeah, he didn't have the best of times, but uh, very experienced now, 65 years old. be interesting to see how we fare against him in today's game. Right, so uh, we're going to this game, obviously, 2-0 up. We're going to go with Ruddy in goal. We're going to go Mankio at right back, uh, Angelino at left back, uh, Gwene and Webster in the middle of defence. Mankio had to play left back uh, for well for the game against Chelsea because uh, Downing gets sent off two yellow cards. 
We've got Lerma and Father Gabriel in the middle of the park with Delafeu on the left and Mateus Pereira on the right. I don't know what's going on with mate Ruz, but anyway. And Inacho and Isaac, the two eyes uh, up top to uh, spearhead the attack. Come on, boys, let's get into him. Today's game is brought to you live from La Rosaleda Stadium. It's Malaga versus Leeds United FC. Right, so whenever I get the opportunity, I always go for the complacency, like. What's the word I'm looking for? Prevention, if you like. Complacency, prevention. So that's what we're going to say. We're winning this tie, but it's still effectively half time. Make sure you don't get complacent and let the lead slip. 2 0 up. Oh, if we get a away goal, they're going to need four goals. And that is definitely something I'm going to be aiming for. That's, that's enough greenery. Let's just get into the game. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Come on. We've got the, the mighty whites, you know, leads top on now. Can we uh, progress into. Uh, I think it, after the second round, is it, it's second knockout round, is it the quarterfinals? I think it is. But we're getting closer. It's, we're in, I think we're in March. I want to say we're in March. Might be late February. But it'll uh, be interesting to see how we get on. Let's get the match stats on. Right, we've got an early corner. And it's Pereira wh whips it in. Comes out to Delefeu. What he do? He has a bit of a, sh a cross come shot blocked. Father Gabriel's got a few uh, goals from outside the area. He has his foul Lerma. Oh, Choa, he were another keeper I used to sign whenever I got promoted with Leeds back in the day. But it would just, just single-handedly keep you up. Fantastic keeper uh, back in the day. Ian Acho, though, can he do? Gets wide. He, he does He does quite well getting by players. Um, he just finished. He scored his first goal, though. And uh, it was like uh, very much a hallelujah moment. Hallelujah. Sorry for deafening you if you've uh, got sensitive ears. Fails of the week, that's another one for the fail of the month. Watch this space, you'll see it, and it's put us in a bit of a tricky spot, this. I mean, this is absolutely appalling. Why on earth would you do this? What a finish! I don't even think their striker could have finished that any better. On the, on the volley! Quampy, which in the corner, it's headed away by Webster, and uh, now it's a bit of twitchy bum time, because this could really go pear-shaped now. If we can get one goal, though, still make us favourites, but uh, thankfully Santos... Is about as good as Ihinacho in the last live com. I do struggle to say that. I might have to think of a nickname or something for him. But it's another chance perhaps for Malaga. They've got the tails up now because they've got the other goal thanks to Mankio. Must be a former player or something or a fan. Uh, Webster does make the tackle though. Now Isaac chips it forward towards Ihinacho but it's cleared away. Isaac does win the header. It's back to Ihinacho. He's got overlapping runs and finds Delafeu was one of them. Oh, show I told you. He's, he's, he's his class. He's different gravy. Come on. We're dominating chance. I mean, they've not even had a shot on target. They've only had one chance. Mankio, like the most prolific goal scorer of all time for Malaga. Can you tell it's grating on me? Pray with the corner, though. It's headed away. Camacho will get there for... No, apparently Isaac's too strong. Delafield with a free kick whips it in. It's sort of cleared away. Father Gabriel will keep it in just, but then loses it to Rosales. Now it's Keko. Back to Rosales. And then finds Camacho. Nice little calm, patient, patient build up to get it out. And Pablo knocks it forward to Juan Pivot. Father Gabriel, surely from behind. Potentially a red card, but no, apparently play on the ref says. Fair enough. And Rudy Lett comes steaming forward and then just gives it straight to Tosca. Or Tosca, however you pronounce it. And that's Johnny Santos. Great tackle again from Lerma, a bit forced to Johnny. And this feels, I've got a really bad feeling like. Uh, Harrison Ford does regularly. But yeah, fortunately, Ruddy saves the day. Wanpe whips it in the corner. Oh, it's really high and deep. Oh, I, th I shat my pants then. I thought it was going to be a penalty. Right, Delafeu with a free kick. Again, whips it towards Webster. It's cleared away once more. Angelino coolly brings it down with his face. And then gets tackled. That's Johnny. Uh, look, I thought he was going to give it away, but no. Wanpe now comes away. That was Escudero, is it? Pa Pablo, no. Oh, look at the eight shady acres for Santos. Fortunately, it's straight ruddy. Gratefully clutches it in his chest. So it's half time, and I'm actually starting to panic a little bit because I'm thinking, I can just feel them doing it. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to tell them that I'm far from pleased because we've not been come. Well, especially not Mankio. Let's just give him a goal, why not? You know, if he hadn't got that goal, he'd probably be getting averaging like a seven. Well, not averaging, but getting a 7.6 or something. But. Uh, I don't know, it was it was shocking with that. 
that own goal. And it just feel like a, it feels like an FM moment, perhaps, going to happen. We're going to lose to... We're going to have about a thousand shots, and they're going to have, like, four... Or maybe five now, because they're going to need one more at least to score. Or maybe not, because Mankio could just put it into net for him. Uh, Isaac? Oh, show him, man. With your big, like, black perm that you have. I remember it well. It's prayer. It does as a corner. Oh, Telefeu. Going over the bar. Honestly, my ass is like that. And I've just been for a shit as well. <laughs> you need to know that. But, it's, uh, yeah, never mind. Prayer. Dangerous ball that Anguane though, taking his time, getting booed, but he don't care. Now it's uh, Pompey, finds Johnny's got in behind, but Mankio making up for his error perhaps, he knocks it down towards Prayer, does lose out, but Lerman knocks it to Isaac. Is there a counter on now, it's chip for free, Nacho, he's got options to the left and the right, and it's found Pereira, can he square it? No, he can be a greedy bastard and shoot into the design netting. Cheers mate. Angelino has a throw deep in the Malaga half. He naturally squares it to Father Gabriel. Smashes it straight into the shins of the defender. Now it's Juan Pates. Three on two, four on two, five on two. Even Webster, though, uh, thought he did really well, but apparently he didn't. Uh, but Angelino has cleaned up somehow. And now it's another counter attack, this time in favour of Leeds. And now it's Isaac. He's wide right at the minute. Plays it to Nacho. Oh, that's a howler from Ochoa. I'm bigging up Ochoa, thinking he's like, like the dog's bollocks. But... Like the tamest effort from Ian Acho, he's let it in, and as a result, Malaga need another three goals, and that's pretty much sealed it for us in that one one chance there. One how look at that! I mean, that's appalling. There's no way that that goalkeeper, that goalkeeper is class. Right? Even John Ruddy was not very good on this game apparently at this stage. He did even saved it. I mean, that one's fair enough. That can happen. It's hit the bar, hit his back, and gone in. I've seen that happen. I've seen keepers have the ball, hit the post, hit them on the back and go in. It, it happens. But that other one, though, it just won't happen at the highest level. It's not quite the highest level, but it's up there, isn't it? It's it kind of up there. But yeah, that seals it now. They need, they need four goals. It's time to make some changes. And uh, who do we bring off here? I mean, Ang Gwen is looking complacent. Uh, I think we bring on Anthony Green, uh, the local lad. Uh, Andrew Green can have a run out for Pereira, who's been absolutely appalling. He's going to swap with Delefeo, to give Delefeo a run on the right. I'm going to bring on Larson for Ian Acho. Ian Acho's actually not played that bad at Hobbit. He, he was very lucky with his goal. Escudero. Escudero, I can't even say it right, but Makia makes the tackle. And it's down the line for Delefeo. That's for to Lerman. Nice little spin to collect it. And what a ball that is from, from Lerman to Andrew Green. I mean,. I'd have been more forgiven if that had gone in, because that were a bit of a tame effort, but at least it was like wide of the goalkeeper. You know, it was a full diving, stretching save. Words, G. I mean, full on di stretching, diving save. That's fantastic at English. But I don't care, because Larson's bombing forward now. He's got four defenders around him, but it's. <laughs> Alright, Larson. Right, Rosales has a throw, finds Kecko. Lerman mauls him to the ground and plays it forward to Isaac, who's got a couple of options to his left. Plays a delightful ball to Andre Green. Andre Green now in the crossing position. Does get the cross in, but it's cleared away by Riccio, I want to say his name was. And Guanilo steams in and wins the ball. Now it's Anthony Green. Finds last and first time ball to Isaac. Somehow controls it for Escudero. Santos turns Webster and gets a, a delightful ball out wide to Keko. He's forced really wide. He's, he's going to get the cross in. It is going to be a goal from Pablo. Um, but it's going to be a too, little too late. Pablo Fornals. It's 4-2, technically, not 4-0. But, um, but, you know, it's a consolation for them. A nice acrobatical kick. A bit unne unnecessary. Right, instant highlight. Don't be a goal for them. Or they, be, they need another three. So, because away goals would see us through. Thanks to a 2 0 win in the first leg. But Green. Just carried on running, left the ball behind for me there. Now it's Kecko charging forward. Angelina's missed his challenge. I'm going to come across it. Piablo with a goal. Let's take it, McNair, because I said 4 0. And he's just like, right, you're going to take pace. I'm going to show you his boss. Knackers. Very nervy. See, if Rakovic had been it net, he'd have probably saved that. You know, but me and my score by error have not seen it played two for two different teams. 
entertaining game nonetheless for the uh, for the neutral fans, I suppose. Uh, but there, we are going to go through. Delphine, nice little ride of the challenge. Tries to feed in Larson. End of the game. Well done, boys. Can't be happier than the fact that we've got through. It was a poor game. In truth, we lost the game. Um, but I've got to say, well done. It was a good win just to keep morale up. Um, so, yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, well, yeah. We've got 646 grand for that. John is in a second for the West Brom game. Right, guys. We're back. And we've had a Euro Cup draw. And we've been drawn against Dortmund. There you can see the teams that are left over. We've got Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, Inter Milan, Paris Saint-Germain, Las Palmas, Vigo, who knocked out uh, AC Milan, as I mentioned before, and Dynamo Kiev. So, it's one of the tougher teams. Probably say Paris Saint-Germain are probably the only team that were harder. You could argue possibly Atletico Madrid. So it's going to be tough to get past Dortmund, uh, especially as we struggle to get past Malaga, who, for me, are a lot weaker than to six of those teams. So, we'll have to wait and see. Um... Yeah, we've got West Brom today. It's going to be a bit of a weakened team. Let's have a look at said team. Um, in fact, let's have a look at the Premier League because I forgot to show you that. And the Premier League is where, as follows, we're third. Got two games in hand on Man U are a point in front of us. And we are one game behind Arsenal who played earlier on today. And we are three points behind. If we win 2-0, we'll go above them, basically, because we score more goals. But, like I say, it's a weakened side. And the other thing, really, we've got on, like, the Premier League is assists Prayer and Isaac with like well first and second if you count Piaka or whatever you call him he's got the same amount as Isaac so yeah doing really well in the assists but just not as good we ain't got like an out and out like top goal scorer which is a bit of a shame um, but anyway that's what we've got we've got Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-final that's going to be an interesting game as well and um, that's something I did mention before actually we got after getting past Chelsea Got Arsenal, so it's gonna be gonna be hard. Just have a look who else, isn't it? Fulham in the championship. I've got Liverpool. So it's gonna be a tough tough ass tough ass to win it. But this is a team we're gonna go for. We're gonna go Ruddy in goal again with Rowney coming in at right back, Angelina continuing at left back with Webster and Veltman in the middle of defence. Uh, Arta is coming in and so is Anthony Green. Uh, with Andrew Green starting on the left and, and Eunice on the right with Clough and Cl and Clough and Clarson? Clough and Larson up top. Um, getting rest starts if you like but uh, they do still do a good job I and mean, look at that, Lassen's got 19 goals in 19 starts and 18 sub appearances very good record really in, in all in all and then Clough's got 12 goals, you know, Prayer's got more than him from the wing, but look at those other strikers, Isaac's only got 11 but he has got 16 uh, assists and Ian Nacho, well we all know about Ian Nacho and his lack of goal scoring uh, ability, although he's got 2 now and 1 assist, let's get into the game come on, let's I never in a million years thought we'd be like anywhere near the title, but nine games to go, and we've got a very good chance of doing it. Fourth place, as it stands, I would have to say is pretty much nailed on, which is the initial target after finishing in the Europa League last season. I'm just hoping we can uh, maintain our uh, form. It's probably the best way to say it, because we've got two games on over Man City in fourth, and fifth in Liverpool, who are five points behind us, so... Ideally, I mean, worst case scenario is we, we t try and take on the Europa League, but with some very strong teams in there, I think it's going to be very tough. So I think best chance of getting Champions League is, is in the league. And Angelino you know, making his 100th league appearance, all all being on loan. Um, but yeah, for an example, um, yeah, he's knackered, so he's just been rested. Let's get into the game, let's kick some ass, chew some bubblegum, and uh, yeah... Today's game is brought to you live from Ellen Road. It's Leeds United FC against West Bromwich Albion FC. Let us... You know, we are the favourites. Let's give them a reason to be favourites. Why is Arta our captain? Nervous. That worries me. It worries me greatly. But it's a must-win game. We are at home. I'm hoping with home advantage and a lot of like the... You know, lesser players, if you want to call them that. But it's a couple of players that are like equal. Like I'd say Eunice is about on par with Perea. Um So we'll have to wait and see if Veltman's on the par. All his defenders are pretty much on the par with each other. With the, the, you know, aside from Anguani, who was just slightly ahead. But everyone else is roughly about the same. But that Diamantikos plays up front for, for West Brom. He's a very dangerous uh, customer. Scored past us last time. Webster's injured. Oh, I forgot to say. <laughs> what a... What a slice of luck that is, because I meant to take out 
put sorry put Bailey Peacock Farrell, which Martino got gave give us a, a a name for him, and I asked ages ago and I forgot to give any feedback. I had, I had like I had like feathers was a nickname from someone and there was another one as well. But here's Diamant Diamanticos. I can't even say his name. Uh, Rudy saved it though, so it, it was done all right. Um, but what do you call him now? Cock. Cockerel. <laughs> Because of B, it, P, Cock, and Fa, Rill. So, I'm not entirely sure on that one, Martino, but uh, yeah, never mind. But we've got to defend this now. Ruddy's punched it away, no, Larson's headed it away. Right, so corner for West Brom, and Kane is going to whip it in. It's towards Kun Ja Chul. And here's Eunice now. Can he uh, bomb down this left hand side? He's non plus on the right. Nice little turn of pace to play it to the right of him. But anyway, Larson's got overlapping runs and decides to lay it off. and Somehow we've def defended it for them, but never mind. Here comes Leko. Plays it in field to Iloa. Joa, however you pronounce it. Him at Leicester. <laughs> it's probably the best way to pronounce it, if I'm honest. But here's Kana, and Ruddy makes another save, and Frown, he clears it away. Stops it going out for a corner. Bit of a let-off. I mean, look at the chances. We've had all, all, the, all the chances, all the ball, and not really any highlights to show for it, so we need to do better than that. And, you know, I'm going to say I'm far from pleased, because we do need to do better. I, I, I might even take Anthony Green off. Uh, not Anthony Green. Oh, he, it is him that's looking nervous. So, no. I thought it was Arta. Yeah, that helps. He's relaxed. Right, come on, boys. Get a bit of gas from having some Coca Cola. I'm not sponsored by him. <laughs> right, so nothing has happened as of yet. Larson is going to come off for Isaac and I think. I think I'm going to bring on the guy who seems to be making the most difference at the minute, and that is Delefeu. Uh, he's going to come on for um, Andre Green. He's had a very poor game. In fact, both of these two have had poor games. Uh, I'm hoping that the two coming on can change it for us. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. It's We've been very dominant, but anything less than a win here would be catastro catastrophic, in my opinion. Um, oh, come on, boys. I'm going to have to throw in an encouragement here. Come on. Why are you nervous? Play it. Why are players nervous? I don't understand. Get creative. Where are you? Why can't I do... Cre another one. Another one. As it seems to be everywhere at the minute. Can we do one? We can. Get creative. I've had to pause it just so I can get it in time. Come on. you got to do it. Come on, boys. What a poor game for the second live com. Ooh, there's a chance that's for them. Kane with a free kick, it's sort of cleared away. Brannigan tackle him out, well done. But it's come to Kane again. I feel a West Brom goal, I can smell it. They've had any chances, no, it's going to be a red card. Awesome. Cheers, Atta. No subs. Legend. Kane made contact with Arta, in other words, he kicked Arta and got, got him sent off somehow. Okay then. Right, uh, what do we do here? Right, so no one can play centre mid. Fantastic. Um, I think Clough's probably got the best stats. He can't tackle for, for shiznit, if that's even a word. Shiznit? What am I talking about, gee? Uh, De La Fe, what's your tackling? Five. Eunice, what's yours? Six. Still not good enough. So Clough's going to have to drop in. Uh, while I press all sorts of different buttons for no reason. I didn't even mean to do that. And you're going to drop to a false nine. Moving to the centre. Come on, boys. Last push. We've done it before. But first, we're going to defend this corner. It's headed away by Gwene. Come on, Eunice. Play it over here somewhere. Or over there. Maybe not there, but about there. I'll just get tackled too. Uh, t tackled it instead. That's good too. Feltman is there, though. Come on. There's 90 seconds left. Isaac has it. Finds De La Feu. If we get a red card and then score, I'll take that all day long. Clough. He, he can play attacking mid, so I'm hoping with that in mind, playing as a centre mid, he might be alright, but he's not looking likely, is it? Let's be honest. Evans. Plays it square. What a disappointing result. And second nil-nil of the of the season, which I find appalling, but this is like the world's longest highlight. Ah, oh, it's going to be them It's going to score, isn't it? I can feel it. That's how I play, you can see it clearly. I, I play a bit on Quaddy's there. And I'll tell you what, this is the world's longest highlight. I feel there's definitely a chance or something happening here. 
but every time we give it to them, I just feel like a goal's going to come. I'm going to hit it forward, Isaac's there. Delefeu is not going to win anything in the air, he's about two foot six. Angelino bombing forward, there's 20 seconds left. Delefeu, Delefeu, he's charging forward now, squares it to Green. Green, look, lad, hit it or place a one in. The length of highlight for the standard of chance, it was not worth it. But I'm going to say not good enough, really, because it wasn't. We need to be beating teams, you know, like, no disrespect to them, but if we wanted to win the league, we need to be beating teams like West Brom. You know, I'd expect, like, a draw against, like, I don't know, now a Tottenham or a Liverpool. I don't expect it against teams like West Brom. You know, it's very disappointing. You know, the amount of chances we've had, we've had 10 on target, and we didn't even have a highlight, really, apart from that shot at the end. What a what a shocker. What an absolute mare. But never mind, we'll have a look at all that afterwards. Let's have a gander at the old schedule and see when we're going to be coming back. Well, it's got to be Dortmund, and it? It's got to be... Should we have a Dortmund, Tottenham, double header? We've got Arsenal, an Arsenal double header there. Seems a bit pointless playing Arsenal twice, doesn't it, really? But, uh, um, yeah, so we'll do a Dortmund Tottenham, and then we we'll, might do a an Arsenal Leicester, perhaps. Or I might do, I might just do, yeah. Tell you what we'll do. We're going to do Dortmund Tottenham, and then we'll probably do Bournemouth Arsenal, because it's the FA Cup, and then we'll just probably go to the end of the season, Man City Norwich. Depending on whether we can win the league earlier, of course. But uh, that's I'm getting ahead of, ahead of myself. We're probably not going to win the league after that result. Uh, so yeah, Dortmund and Tottenham for the next episode. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, why not go ahead and press that like button. It's greatly appreciated. As would be pressing that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, hopefully you can join us as we come towards the back end of this season. Uh, we're still in Europe. We're still in the shout of the Premier League. We're still in the FA Cup as well. Um, it's a very pleasing season, uh, just hoping we can end it on a high and not end it like real life, where we were easily in the playoffs, in the championship that is of course, and then we end up bottling it, and I think we were 1-8 in eight or something, appalling. We were like 11 points clear of Fulham uh, before the, uh, af after the international break, or before, I think it was before, before the Reading game. Yeah, enough of a rant, that's for another time. Hopefully you can join us for the next one, like I said, against Dortmund and Tottenham. Until then... I'll see you then. Bye-bye.